Okay, so where is this jerk? Maybe he had second thoughts. I don't think so. See, these two know each other. It's all right, her. It's okay, easy. We're here. Where did he get that car? That's what the doctor meant. He said there was another Herbie. Do you mind? It's not another Herbie. His name's Horace. And he's a vast improvement on your car. D -d -d Just curb your violence. That's not what this is about. Yet. Now, the finish line is 20 miles through that pass I've arranged for the private use of this road, so you will see neither other cars nor radar-wielding authority figures. You need only worry about me. There's no rules, of course, other than the loser loses his vehicle. <laughs> and I am so looking forward to owning you, Herbie. Horace is going to have such fun with him. Are we going to race here, or what? Oh, yeah, we're going to race all right. Ugh, this is such a guy thing. Doesn't somebody need to wave a flag or do a countdown or something? I didn't actually mean me. See the finish line, Cooper? Just don't be too long. Rupert, let's get this over with. OK, gang. Saddle up. OK, boys. Very simply, we're up against more horsepower, faster aerodynamics, and one really nasty Scotsman. We could get our tails kicked. Uh, well, then maybe this isn't the best time to bring up the fact that I haven't exactly raced in a while. Oh, come on, guys. We'll do fine. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Horace, this is what you've been built for. Don't let me down. See, Rupert, this is going to be all too easy. <laughs> Any time would be just fine, Herbie. Oh, it just 
gets to be so tiring all the time. Women always throwing themselves at me. And again, who can blame them? <laughs> you got all that money. And charm and wit. You have a lot of really nice clothes. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> Rupert, perhaps you underestimated them. If you will, hang on. Okay, I'll give you a wash, a wax, and one of those little air fresheners. Deal? Gaining on us. Where is he, Ryan? You're right. You're right. I got him. I got him. How dare you block me, Cooper? Time to reveal the first modification. This is where we say ciao. Now that's racing! <laughs> Hank. It's not your fault he did this. And we can get back in. Yeah. Probably. Well, that's that. We've done it. Great. What do we do now? We celebrate. Well, guess who packed your favorite sparkling cider? <laughs> I did. Look, Hank. If you're not going to do anything about this, we will. Forget it. The spare is flat, too. It's the one thing I didn't have time to fix. So that's it? We're just done? Look, even if the spare was good, I'm just not sure if we should go on. Oh, great. So this is where I give the big Susie cheerleader speech. Be the rah-rah adoring female, huh? Oh, no, Hank. You have to go on. I believe in you, Hank. You can do it, Hank. Is that what's supposed to happen now? Well, forget it. All I can say is I can't believe after what we've been through, you're just gonna quit. What? What? You just said you thought we shouldn't go on. 
But it's not for me. I'm talking about Herbie. I mean, the guy's a friend of mine now, and they almost killed him out there. And doggone it, Alex, I'm not going to let that happen again, OK? OK. So what are we going to do now? I have no idea. So I think I'll just follow Jim's advice. Well, ask Herbie. All right, pal, what do you say? In or out? I'd say we're in. Yeah, but the spare's still flat. Yeah. But it's a good thing you're an artist. Roddy, you got talent. Think it'll hold? I don't know, but it's our only shot. That is, of course, if we're even still in the race. Oh, we're still in it, all right. Then let's hit the road. So the old Hank's back, huh? Not the old quitting Hank, but the older Hank. The Hank that never gave up. Yeah, I guess he is. Good, because he's the one I liked. You are a very confusing woman, you know that? I try. <sighs> That's a great little Susie cheerleader speech, by the way. Oh, shut up. Come on, this is Let's go. Think we can catch him? Oh, we'll catch him, no problem. I'm just worried about what happens when we do. Toast to me. Simon. Oh, very well. If they refuse to lose gracefully, they can die like slugs. Rupert, strap yourself in. Time for modification number two. He's letting us catch him. Why? Maybe because of that. What the? Grenades! race to him it's a duel between good and evil love and hate and as long as love is around hate can never rule but if hate were to win we have to beat him that's all oh sure nothing like a little pressure hang on Record, you could just pull over to the side here. Not quite yet. Uh, he's he's out of grenades, right? Yeah, well, how should I know? Uh, you got a slingshot past him? Nope. Something a little bit bolder. Rupert. Prepare for modification number three. Number three? You can run, but you can't hide. Simon, I, I don't think that... Lock on to them, Ripper. Lock on to them. What's he doing? I don't 
know, but I bet you we're not gonna like it. Report! Fire! <laughs> What is he up to? That. Pull together, pal. If you can. to get interesting. become a drive through Finish line. Yes, of course it is, but who are all those people? Hey, Simon! You said you wanted to be in my magazine. I'm thinking now you'd make a great cover. Really? It'll be a huge photo of just you. Unfortunately, it'll be as the Yanks never give up. No, we don't.
Simon? Shocking. But... What are y'all looking at? Who's the owner of that vehicle? The dead one? I am. What of it? Illegal detonation of explosives, driving an unregistered devil car, illegal dumping of said devil car. Excuse me, but I don't think you know who you're talking to. Shut, Shut up. up! What are you saying? What I'm saying is you're going to the big house, and I believe you've got a cellmate. Come on. <laughs> I'll get you, Cooper. And your little bug, too. Hey, Alex. I'll give you a call. You're only allowed one. <laughs> okay, new tires, new seats, new paint. But that's my final offer.